What's going on? Hashtag Burritos Nation, Chipotle Rainbow Warrior here. And decided to wear my NWA World's Heavyweight Championship Dome Blow Belt today for this video. We have ourselves today predictions for the Extreme Rules 2018 uh, match card pay per view. So, yeah. And you guys are always probably like Rainbow. I always wait till the last day or literally a couple hours before the pre show starts. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm pretty lazy, lazy. Let's do it a little bit here to see my belt more. Because why not? Shiny, shiny. Um, and let's go and get to this. We got 12 matches on the card, which of course do not include the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. Right over here. Um, but it's all good in the neighborhood because Brock Lesnar is boring to watch anyways. It would just be nice if he went in and defended his title. It'd be crazy if something happened tonight if they actually went ahead and had... Uh, him show up and Braun just attack him from behind and cash in and win the title, but that's probably not gonna happen um, I'm kind of getting risky here about 14% left on my phone So hopefully he doesn't die before this video ends um, But we're gonna go and get through these probably decently fast here. We got 12 matches tonight. We're gonna start with the pre-show um, One that I think it's the last match that's been put on the card actually is uh Andrade Cien Almas versus Sin Cara. So these guys actually had a match on SmackDown Live, and it was actually a pretty decent match. And Sin Cara actually surprised me and put on a pretty good match as well. Andrade is obviously always good. Uh, Sin Cara is a very underrated wrestler, in my opinion. Um, but who's going to win this match? I can 100% tell you that Andrade Cien Almas is. And you guys can call me an idiot in the comments below if I am wrong. So yeah, next one, the New Day. This should be a very, very good match for a pre-show. In the pre-show, a tables match, six-man tag tables match. The only thing that would make this match better is if it were elimination. It'd be crazy. I have to put guys in tons of tables. Um, but we got the New Day versus Sanity. First ones to go through a table loses, obviously. The ones that put them through the table win. Um, but yeah, we got the New Day versus Sanity. And who do I think is going to win this match? I think we're putting over the Sanity. And Sanity is going to get their first big win on the main rosters. I think that WWE, at least for now, is trying to do them well. And actually push them a little bit. So yes, the Sanity is going to beat the New Day is my prediction. Next one we got Finn Balor versus Constable Baron Corbin. See, a lot of people think that they are... Pushing Corbin with this constable role. It's a kind of a mini push, but I don't know necessarily if they're actually pushing him as a uh, in-ring talent. I do think that it's finally getting close to finally around time where they got to start actually start pushing Finn Balor. Because, I mean, you would think he's eventually going to get that universal tile shot eventually, or at least an IC tile shot. Um, but I do think, in fact, that Finn Balor is going to be beating Constable Corbin. I don't want it to happen because Corbin's one of my favorite wrestlers, but I am thinking that Finn Balor is going to win this match. Next one, this is when it gets more interesting. We got ourselves Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens in a steel cage match. Our first uh, special match of the night of uh, in the actual pay-per-view that's not in the pre-show. A steel cage match. I really like steel cage matches. This is going to be a lot of throwing stuff. This, another possibility of someone going through a cage, <laughs> getting slammed through a cage, like Kevin Owens being slammed through a cage and winning, just like what happened at um, Saudi Arabia, the greatest Royal Rumble with Reigns spearing him through the cage. I don't think that's going to happen, though, because they got to let Braun win this match because, I mean, you're Mr. Mo uh, Money in the Bank. I guess you don't technically need to win, but, I mean, he's such a unstoppable force that you're going to let him win because he's got to get that cash in soon enough and I think it's man it's got to happen soon I really hope that that happens either before or at SummerSlam where he wins a tile we can get rid of Brock Lesnar at least for the time being when he's training for UFC um, but yeah I do think that Braun Strowman will this, win this match I'm just hoping that it's not a complete squash match all right, next one. Uh, we're just gonna skip to Boomin versus Bobby Lashley because I don't care about this match at all. It was originally gonna be a number one contenders match for the Universal Title, but due to contract negotiations, um, Kurt Angle says with Brock Lesnar that's no longer gonna be a thing, and I actually think that's a real thing. I don't think it's just fully storyline. I think that Brock Lesnar and Vince can't actually come in an agreement on payment or something like that. Um, but who do I think's gonna win this match? I am going to be going with. It's gonna be. Lashley, I don't really like either of them. I can't stand Roman, so obviously I'm cheering for Lashley. <sighs> mm, I actually, I'm going with Lashley, because Lashley I don't think's had a big win yet. And I, even though they like to shove Roman down our throats, I think that Lashley is going to win tonight. I usually always say Roman's going to win, because he usually wins. But I'm going to be going with 
Bobby Lashley to get this W tonight. Just taking the risk there and just saying it. So Bobby Lashley's winning tonight. All right, we got this is the Raw Tag Team Champions on the line. The uh, the deleter of worlds, Woken. Yes, absolutely wonderful and delightful Matthew Hardy. Ver and, um, of course, the deleter of worlds. Or, um, or the eater of worlds. <laughs> Bray Wyatt versus uh, the B-team Curtis Axel and Bo, Lee, Bo Dallas. Um, there's no way that the B-team's winning. It'd be great. I would love it. But I'm going to just be sticking with... The deleter of worlds to win this match. I just, I, I don't, I think that they'll put up a good fight. They've been winning a lot of singles matches. It should be very interesting to see Bo Dallas and Bray White going at it too. Um, but yeah, we should definitely, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So yeah, I'm thinking that deleter of worlds are going to be keeping their titles. Smackdown Live Tag Team Championships, the Bludgeon Brothers is a team, hell no. The Bludgeon Brothers, it's just their reign has not been interesting. I, I thought it was going to be interesting at first. I love their theme music, by the way. Um, but I do think that Team Hell No is going to win it. And we're going to have Mr. Baby, Daniel Bryan, Big Baby here. Yes, yes, yes. And Team Hell No's uh, other uh, person in it. I, I can't even talk. Teammate, <laughs> Kane. It's got to be Kane. They're going to become the new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, which is going to be pretty cool. And hopefully uh, they stay champions for a while. I know my aunt would be happy about that. Shout out to Aunt Ellen. She loves Daniel Bryan. <laughs> All right. Um, we got ourselves the United States Championship. Brother Nero, I knew you'd come. Jeff Hardy, who has been rumored to have a nagging injury. I don't necessarily know what exactly it is. Uh, versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I do think it is finally time to let Nakamura win his first single title. I thought he was going to win the World Championship. I really thought he was going to win the World Championship in that last man semi match. And he did not happen. I don't know what they're doing there. I, th I thought it was finally time to take that tell off of AJ. Um, but it's looking like we're going to have, um, I think Shinsuke Nakamura is going to win his first United States Championship tonight. And uh, Brother Nero might be taking some time off just in case it actually is an injury that he needs some rest for. Um, next, we got the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. We got Carmella versus Asuka. Where poor James Ellsworth. My boy James Ellsworth. I love James Ellsworth. <laughs> it's going to be suspended high above the cage in a shark cage. He will still be able to distract, though, I think. And <laughs> I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of people mad at me. But I think that Carmelo is still going to walk away with this one. I think they're going to hold off a little bit on giving Austin that title. And I think that Carmelo is still going to walk out as the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I'll be fine either way. I just, I really like Ellsworth. <laughs> But uh, but I honestly do think, deep in my heart, I think that Carmelo's going to win. I don't think they're going to give it to her yet. I, I think there's a small, don't, don't, don't put me on this, but I think there's a small bit of racism in the mind of Vince McMahon thinking-wise when it comes to Asians. I love Asians. Don't put this on me. But, but he tends to give them big matches, but not let them win a lot of times. Um, but yeah. I don't know if I'll edit that out or not. Don't call me racist. I'm not racist. I love all peoples. All right, I'm going to move on. All right. <laughs> but, and then we got ourselves the Raw Women's Championship. Alexa Bliss for Nia Jax for R Ronda Rousey. Let me check my percentage on my phone really fast here. I think we're good. 7%. Um, Ronda Rousey is going to be in the crowd ringside in the Raw Women's Championship match between Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. Who do I think is going to win this match? I think that Alex is still going to still going to be in it. Ronda is going to get involved some way and try to cost Alexa the title, but it's going to end up backfiring. And um, it's gonna, is it an Extreme Rules match? I think this might be an Extreme Rules match too. I might have missed seeing what that is. I think it's an Extreme Rules match, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely is because she was beating up Nia with the kendo stick. So um, I think that is going to be a distraction coming on from Ronda, but I still think that Alexa is going to walk out as a Raw Women's Championship eventually, and we're going to end up having a storyline going with Ronda versus Alexa. Ronda might beat the tar out of Alexa after the match. All right, next we got ourselves my most exciting match of the night, the Intercontinental Championship 30-minute Ironman match between my boy Dolph Ziggler and my other boy Seth Rollins, my two favorite wrestlers in the whole entire world. Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins going on. It's a hard one for me because they're my two favorite wrestlers. Uh, 5%. <laughs> We're going to have to cut this one pretty short here. Um, but we got <sighs> my favorite wrestler is Dolph, so I'm obviously going with him. And I do think Dolph Ziggler is going to walk out in a, the best match of the night. And I, I got to 
quicken this one up because there's five percent left on my phone it's going to die any second now uh, but i do think that dolph ziggler is going to win the intercontinental championship and keep his title and seth rollins is eventually going to get propelled into a higher storyline hopefully just hopefully going for that bad boy right there the universal title and now last but definitely not least aj styles defending his world championship against rusev day i should have worn my rusev shirt i went with old school dolph ziggler though <laughs> uh, but I think AJ Styles is going to walk out, unfortunately. Again, he's a great wrestler. He's one of the best in the world. Uh, I just want Rusev to win so badly, so hopefully I'll be wrong. I'm hoping. Um, but I do think AJ Styles is going to keep the title, and I think that Samoa Joe is going to actually come out. Because interestingly enough, sneakily, WWE put on an exclusive on social media Twitter page that before a smack the SmackDown Live, I think it was this last SmackDown Live, um, there was, to greet the crowd, Ty Dillinger came out for no reason whatsoever. Um, Samojo came out and attacked him. We haven't seen Samojo on TV for a while. So I'm thinking that he's going to be more on TV more often. He's going to get a world title shot against AJ Styles for the next world championship match. So yeah, those are my predictions for Extreme Rules 2018. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' are. And if you guys agree with any of mine or disagree, let me know. Anyways, love you guys so much. And I'll see all of y'all. Hashtag Burritos Nation. Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah.